Am I the asshole for yelling at my best friend when she threw away my anxiety medication? I, 18 female, and my lifelong best friend, Emily, 18 female, share a dorm room at college. For backstory, I started having really bad panic attacks when I was 10 after my parents died. My brother, Dylan, 32 male, took me to a psychiatrist and I was diagnosed with GAD and put on Prozac. I have taken it ever since and I have occasional panic attacks, but it's been a lifesaver. Emily has stood by me through all of it, but she never liked the medication. She was raised extremely Christian as opposed to my agnostic upbringing and thinks I just need to repent and ask for God's forgiveness. Now, I'm pretty good at just ignoring that since I trust my therapist and doctor. However, since we've gotten to college, she has been looking at me weird and making snide remarks every morning when I go to take my medication. She has asked me not to take it in front of her, and I try to do it when she's in the bathroom, but she insists that she can hear the pills rattling. It has caused tension, but I never thought she would do what she did. Thursday afternoon, I was feeling restless and went into the city with my girlfriend, Eva, 18 female. Emily thinks that we're just friends. We had a great time, but Emily kept texting and calling even when I insisted that everything was okay. Usually, I'm okay with her being so overprotective because of an incident when I was 14, but I just wanted to be with Eva. So I told her I'd call if anything happened and I turned my phone off. A couple hours later, I got back to the dorm and Emily screamed at me for having my phone off and threatened to call my brother and sister-in-law. I apologized because I didn't want her to call and worry them. She then accused me of not having morals anymore and I just didn't say anything and I went to bed. Friday morning, I was getting ready and found that all my pills were missing. I asked her about it and she said, You don't need drugs. You need to pray and said she had flushed them. I lost my temper and told her that I need my medication to function properly and that she had no right to do that. I had to go all day without it and I was a complete disaster. I had to step out of a chemistry lab because it felt so bad. It was about time to replace the prescription anyway, so I did that, and I'm hiding it in my backpack now. However, Emily is demanding an apology for how I yelled at her, and her boyfriend agrees with her completely. Eva, Dylan, sister-in-law, and our other friends think I'm completely right and I should be angrier. I don't know what to do. We've been friends for so long. I feel like if I don't apologize, it'll all be over and the rest of our freshman year will be so awkward. I know she will hold a grudge for a while. I shouldn't have shut off my phone, but she knew where I was. She has my snap map location and that I wasn't alone. I just want it to all blow over. This whole Saturday has been tense and weird. So this is why I think I could be the asshole. My extremely religious best friend and college roommate flushed my anxiety medication down the toilet and told me to pray to God based off of her Christianity after I turned my phone off while hanging out with my girlfriend and I yelled at her. So am I the asshole for yelling at my best friend when she threw away my anxiety medication? 
Am I the asshole for not allowing my parents to see my kids anymore? My husband and I were gay. We're both raised in very religious environments. I was raised Catholic and my husband was raised Christian. His upbringing was much more strict than mine with extreme rules. Needless to say, our families weren't happy when we came out of the closet. His family kicked him out while mine didn't speak to me for years. And they just pretended I didn't exist even when I reached out to them to invite them to my wedding. We've been married now for six years and we just had our second child, Gail. When our daughter Caroline, my oldest, was born, my parents apologized to me and said they wanted to get to know my family. We decided to give them a since my husband's family won't even acknowledge us. I did want my daughter to have grandparents. Due to our upbringing, we decided there would be no religion in our household. We don't go to church or own a Bible. If our children decide they want to explore religion, then we want it to be their choice, not because we forced them to go to Sunday school for two hours every Sunday. We were very clear on this with my parents. We didn't want any religious toys, games, books, or church event invites. But my parents push. I won't go into full detail to keep this from becoming too wordy, but we had a few incidents with Caroline, such as them taking her to church events. So Gail is two months old now. My parents have been helping out since she was born with things like groceries and dinner. Well, they came over with a huge gift basket for Gail. It had diapers, wipes, formula, and some toys. One was a lamb, which, when hugged, says, Jesus loves me. I told my mom we'll keep everything else, just not the lamb. They know the rules. That is when my dad said, quote unquote, well, excuse us for trying to save our grandkids' souls while there is still time. I ended up crying. My husband kicked them out. He sent them the text messages, letting them know they were not welcomed in our home or near the girls ever again. Since then, they have been sending messages, texts, and posting on Facebook, telling anyone who will listen that we won't allow them to see the girls. They even gave my number to members of their church. I have mixed emotions. I want my daughters to have grandparents and aunt and uncles and cousins. I just don't want them to suffer with the same things me and my husband had to go through. So am I the asshole for not allowing my parents to see my kids anymore? Am I the asshole for urinating on my wife's plants? I, 28 male, live with my wife, 26 female, of four years. We live in a small house, one bedroom, one bathroom. It's just us two. For context, I suffer from a medical condition that I don't want to go into too much detail, but basically I can't hold it very long when I need to go. My wife is very aware of this. Yesterday afternoon, I'd had a cup of coffee and not long after I needed to urinate. My wife was in the bathroom. Okay, that's fine. I can hold it for a bit. I assumed she would be out in a few minutes, but it turns out she was dyeing her hair and apparently this takes a long time. She said the bathroom was a mess and that I couldn't come in yet. I was getting very desperate as I'd been waiting for about 20 minutes at this point and it was getting dangerous for me. I started banging on the door saying I was going to piss myself and she just kept saying she won't be much longer. I said, just let me in, I don't care, but she said she didn't want me to see her as her hair was still a mess. I don't understand how something can go so wrong when you change your hair about two shades lighter, but whatever. 
I couldn't believe she wouldn't just open the door. Anyway, I couldn't hold it anymore and ran to the window in the hallway, opened it, and relieved myself outside. It's the back window so no one would have seen, but unfortunately, there are some plants that my wife recently planted directly below. She came out of the bathroom about five seconds after I started peeing and she started raging at me. She said I was behaving like a child, an animal, that I was being so dramatic and couldn't just wait five more minutes for her to tidy up the bathroom and her hair. By the way, it was like 30 minutes, but I didn't say that because I didn't want to keep arguing, honestly. Anyway, she went downstairs and saw that it had landed on her plants and she was not happy. I told her it won't harm them. It's literally just liquid. And that if she had just opened the door and let me in, none of this would have happened. But she barely spoke to me for the rest of the day and has been very short with me this morning. I tried to talk to her about it, but she just said, just forget about it, which means she definitely hasn't forgotten. She knows that I have a medical condition. I thought it was a better option than pissing myself, but I guess in hindsight, I could have gone to the kitchen sink, but that's where food is prepared, and I thought outside just was the better option. So... Am I the asshole for urinating on my wife's plant? Am I the asshole for asking my husband to not joke about my late wife? I, 30 female, and my husband, 32 male, Keith, got married in 2019, two years after my wife Katrina passed in 2017. Me and Katrina got married in 2015, but we started dating in 2012. I met my husband in 2018 and we quickly started dating. He proposed on Christmas 2018, but in the past three weeks, he has been making jokes that me and Katrina's marriage wasn't real because we're both female and about how ugly she was and that he would never be caught dead dating her. I have asked him to stop multiple times but he keeps brushing me off. The other day, he made an especially insensitive comment about Katrina, and I was so fed up, I blurted out, do you know how effing insensitive you're being? He looked at me, shocked, and got up and walked away. He hasn't been talking to me for the past three days. I did try apologizing multiple times to him, but he keeps saying that's what I said really hurt him. So am I the asshole for asking my husband to not joke about my dead wife?